friends sai ram this is mega miss here and today we have met again to discuss our project work topics okay now i hope you have studied the lessons which you have uh, done right lesson number 19 that is constituents of food and lesson number 4 environmental balance okay so your project is depending upon that uh, lesson that is lesson number 4 environmental balance okay students in that i hope you remember you have studied about the food chain yes students and you must have tried to practice also some food chain do you not then we will see in the project work you have to practice okay student so what is your topic for this we'll just see okay so lesson number 4 that is environmental balance from that uh, lesson the topic project topic is there okay so what is your project topic draw any food chain okay present in our environment now in your textbook also food chains are given but you are going to find out new food chain many food chains are there we have studied right there is not a single food chain there are many food chains they are interlinked and if you remember we called it as food web right but i don't want a food web i want a single food chain okay and where you are going to draw it on a drawing paper okay students or on any paper which is there at your home use any paper which is there at your home or a drawing paper simple drawing paper okay so first you are going to give the heading that is uh, the project work science uh, evs1 right you write evs1 because your subject is evs1 science okay then you write the sub topic uh, the lesson name that is lesson number 4 environmental balance in that you are drawing the food chain okay students then what you are going to do is you are going to draw this food chain and then you are going to color it okay nicely using different colors you are going to color it okay you can draw a very big food chain if you want or very small food chain whichever is uh, easier for you you try to do it and try to learn that food chain who is eating whom how many are herbivorous animal and which is the carnivorous animal how many carnivorous animals in them okay write the names of the animals or birds which you draw in the food chain so whichever animals or birds whatever you are drawing in that food chain please write the names of those animals and birds down okay near that animal so that you will understand which animal is eating which animal okay or a bird right so i hope in your textbook it is not given but you remember if you write the names then it will be easier for you to remember the food chain okay students now i'll show you an examples how to draw the food chain okay but you can, you are going to draw it on the drawing paper or any paper okay now see this is my first food chain example which i am going to show you see i have given the label sun now you know sun is going to come in all food chain because sun is your major source of energy without sun can plants make the food no so sun is important in your food chain also you are going to draw the sun okay students after the sun who is going to utilize sun's energy this grass that is the uh, plants right so plants are going to use the sun's energy to prepare their food you have studied this plants prepare their food with the help of sunlight water and carbon dioxide gas right i hope you have remembered you have learned it properly yes so after the sun you are going to draw the grass now this sun and grass is going to be in all the food chains it is going to be present yes because herbivorous animals always depend upon the plants herb herbs means plants okay so herbivorous animals always depend upon this plant now here in this food chain which is my herbivorous animal yes 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 it's the rabbit so here my rabbit is the herbivorous animal so have i given the name rabbit there yes so i have understood sun sun's energy will be taken by grass grass will be eaten by the rabbit and which is the carnivorous here animal present that snake because that snake is going to eat that rabbit okay students so my snake becomes here the carnivore okay so i have written the name also can you see the snake yes like this this is a very short uh, food chain can you see it is given in your textbook only so like this short food chain also you can draw 
or big food chain also you can draw okay student now one more example comes here second example also can you see the sun is there yes who is going to use the sun's energy grass for growing yes for uh, growing properly becoming healthier right because with the help of the sun only they can prepare their food and without food can the plant grow healthier no so it will need the sun's energy okay then who is going to eat this grass the grasshopper yes can you see that arrows also are given like this you are going to show the arrow also okay the arrow should be pointing to the animal which eats that like grass is eaten by the grasshopper so the arrow head should be towards the grasshopper okay not towards the grass okay and then who is eaten by the grasshopper grass is eaten by the grasshopper right then who uh, who eats the grasshopper sparrow okay student so can you see the link is also shown with that arrows like this in your uh, diagram also whatever you will draw you are going to show this linkage okay like these are both the examples which are given in your textbook you can draw any of the food chain uh, from net also you can find it out and draw or you, whichever you think uh, you can make your own food chain also if you now you have understood what uh, who eats uh, which animals right so you can make that also okay so i hope what project has to be done is clear to you okay students you are going to maintain the project properly decorate it properly if you want nicely give the heading subheadings okay write the topic name as food chain and you are going to keep it properly because after the school reopens you are going to submit it okay you have the marks for that so don't just think yes miss has told i'll do it and keep anyway no you are going to keep it properly okay students so here we are going to uh, end with our chapter as i told you before our environmental balance chapter is also over and our project work is also done okay so you are going to do it properly okay so thank you students uh, take care and sign up